Hello, hello. Hello, hello. What is up, everybody? We are back. How's it going? Mary with Media Live, episode 73. All right, all right. We're here to talk movie news. We're, we got, we're we got a little there. TV news. I know that you're fighting a bit of a cold. A little bit, a little bit. To be here mm. tonight. But I look, I appreciate you joining me. You know, I do, uh, I do what I can. I didn't want to have to fly this ship solo tonight. Yeah, so. I, not going to lie. My, my nose is a little runny. Um, my throat has a tickle in it. Um, <clears throat> but we're, we're going to be okay. I might have to get up and get some tissues. But. Okay, that's fine. Do you want, you want some of the water? I haven't even opened this. So. Thank you. Yeah, I might need that. I might need that. I, uh, I have these little um, kid cough drop suckers because uh, I couldn't find any cough drops. So hmm. I got these. But look, guys, before we get into, uh, well, we're going to get into the chat first and see what you guys are saying. Um, but the movie news as well. Hit the like button. If you haven't already, the like button Do really it. goes a long way with helping the stream and, uh, you know, helping it boost up the YouTube algorithms, whatever the hell that means. But uh, I would appreciate it if you're watching now live or on the replay yeah. uh, later on. But uh, yeah, let, what you want to get into the chat? Let's do you wanna it. You want to see what's going on? Let's see what everybody's We got a lot of to. cool stuff to talk about tonight, though. I do know that. For sure. We got Shrek or Not here saying, hey. How's it what's going, up, Shrek or Not? Not? Do you want to still manage the chat? You're all right. Or do you want me to do it? Okay. We can kind of switch uh, back and forth. We got Sam T here says, can't make it because I'm at work, but I'll definitely catch the replay when I'm home later tonight. Awesome, Sam. That works. I would appreciate it. Uh, Collector Movie Man is here. Hey, Michelle and Ken, how is your guys' day, and I hope you guys were able to see the eclipse today. It was really something. Yeah, we uh, didn't get the, you know, approved eyewear to, to actually look at it, but uh, we did step outside when it was supposed to be, you know, happening here in our part of Kentucky. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was pretty cool. It To me, honestly, it just kind of looked like it was about to storm or something. It was super mm -hmm. cloudy here today, so that didn't help, but um, it was still pretty cool, though. It's kind of like eerie a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, you know, the sun came back out and it was just normal again. So I looked up and I I saw it for like a second. Yeah, but it was through the clouds. And I was like, I shouldn't be looking at this. Yeah, I, um, I, I looked up and saw it for just like a smidge of a second, like a little tiny, like a clip, like what's it called? Crescent, like a little crescent. Look like crescent light. Crescent moon. Yeah. Um, and I was like, oh, crap. I just looked at it. Um, <laughs> but I think I'm okay. I actually, well, I actually put a story in here about that uh, that we'll, we'll get to later on. So there'll well, be yeah, more I, clips talk tonight. All right. Yeah, you know, I was going to, um, you know, sometimes I feel like we picked the worst day to do our live streams because Monday just always seems so crazy. We did. But I was going to, I told you that it would have been funny if you like put some solar eclipse glasses on us in our thumbnail. That would have been cool. But yeah, we had to have them though. We had to have the glasses to be able to do it. No, like you could have like photoshopped them on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Well, you're assuming have you seen all I the, am good at that kind of stuff. Have you seen all the, the stuff? Um, that's been shared like chucky with them yeah on. yeah well yeah. i saw you share it earlier yeah I that's, thought those were that's pretty much it but uh yeah the solar the world didn't end at least not yet so that's a good thing ken good was thing. he was like talking conspiracy theories and yeah. stuff and i'm like get out of here with that well i was going down the rabbit hole there's been a lot of conspiracies uh associated with the with the eclipse a lot of coincidences and stuff we like that. we've had one before so it's yeah. not like it's that you know crazy but. okay all right let's see we got uh the happy optimist is here he says probably my favorite mary with media thumbnail ever raw <laughs> he changed his um his name yeah you did you changed your name you're now the happy optimist all right love that's it. kind of that's a little bit of a uh what do they call that an oxymoron no that would be contradicting it's just kind of like being happy and being an optimist kind of the same thing. It is the same thing. Yeah. I don't get what the yeah. problem is. <laughs> I don't know. There is no problem. I'm just, I was just thinking. Um, I shouldn't do friends. that. Uh, we got Dimitri and Scott here. Hey there. Last night's WrestleMania was pretty good. Um, I did enjoy it. She even watched WrestleMania. Like, so that's how I know like it was pretty good. Like bits and pieces. I didn't get to like sit down and watch the whole thing because, you know, mom yeah. life. But, yeah. um, well, I try to get everybody to, to watch it together. And finally, everybody came together for like the last 20 minutes. Yeah. So 
That was nice. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, we have Happy Optimist here again. Drew getting screwed because of Punk is genius scenario that happened. Damian Priest saw the best shot right at the moment. Punk versus McIntyre will feed generations. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't wait. Is that, that like, feud. is that the part where the guy had like got knocked out and then he came out to cash his? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah. I was like, Him man. CM Punk are kind of feuding. Well, Punk's injured right now, but uh, they've been kind of talking back and forth on the mic. I haven't really been paying attention to, look, I haven't really watched wrestling in like eight years. Like right. actually kept up with it and watched it. I was drawn into this whole like Rock, Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns thing. Right. So that's the only thing I've really been keeping up with. Yeah. Um, so in that respect, WrestleMania delivered because all that stuff delivered for me. Um, but everything else, it was cool to see everybody else, though, because I did watch the whole thing. Uh, the Happy Optimist says, uh, and to end the show with Michael Cole, the goal of most emotionally satisfying call to end the arguably the greatest WrestleMania ever. Cody Rhodes finishing the freaking story. I mean, it's good to see Michael Cole, like, actually people liking. Because when I was watching, like, everybody hated Michael Cole. And he was very annoying. Um, so I'm glad people like him now. Uh, let's see. In-law and order SVU and Funko Pop came damaged. I was really upset, so I'm sending back to Amazon. That's a bummer. That's not good. Uh, legitimately cried during the main event. Lots of wrestling talk tonight. I can't believe I'm st staying true to the title, the thumbnail, without mentioning a movie. Ha, <laughs> sorry. It was just a momentum. Uh, momental night. Monumental night. Yeah. Um, let's see. Maria Alina says, good evening, uh, Michelle and Ken. What's up, Maria? How How's are you it going, doing? Maria? Yeah, I'm kind of in this uh, phase right now with the thumbnails. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, I, I try to come up with something to write on there but that has to do with like movie news or I try to work movie news into it, but I try to make it topical to like what we're talking about or what's going on. I feel like you were just like making silly titles recently. They are silly, <laughs> but they are, they usually will have to do with like what we're going to talk about. Okay. Like last week was Michelle or no movie X news. And it was like Godzilla X Kong. Cause that was the story we were leading with, with the box office. Um, there's a couple other ones. Our no, movie, no. our movie news juice is loose. Like, but what what did you say last week about Godzilla? Movie X uh, news. I just don't get how that. I don't know. I'm just. I'm doing. I'm throwing stuff at the wall. <laughs> it's probably not sticking. And that but, one didn't stick. Okay. Well, my, they're not all going to be winners. You know, sometimes I don't have like time to think about what you do. Yeah, you just um, you just post it. I, I know like, that because I've done some silly stuff before and you will never say a word. You're the thumbnail maker, so. Yeah, you never say a word. Uh, welcome to another Monday night media with Michelle and Ken. I wouldn't miss this one for the world. Plus, I look forward to seeing what you two have to say. Awesome, Douglas. Well, we appreciate thank you, being Douglas, here. for being here, bud. Uh, we got Wilkie in the chat. What's up, man? Hey, How's it too. going? Hope you're having a great day. We are, man. Hope you're doing well. Yes. yes uh, we got yes. DJ Joker in the house. What's up? What's up? Uh, that's you better the, uh, get that super chat. That's the Bubba Bubba Ray Dudley, right? Well, of course, it was off the beer commercial first. Dude who loves movies. Thank you so much, Cody, for the super chat. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, um, Cody. Cody, I'm sure you enjoyed Cody winning the title last night. What's up, everyone? Don't forget to roundhouse kick that like button. It's time for Do Kenny it. to finish his story. It is. It is time for me to finish my story. Um, um, yeah, I shared about, you know, Cody Rhodes winning, uh, WrestleMania and Cody messaged me and he was like, I don't know why I'm so surprised to see this in your stories. <laughs> yeah. Cause she watched like, it. She I was, was like, invested. you know, we watched it and, uh, that, you know, main event was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, that's why me... I was trying to fill you in on the backstory. Cause like, if you're going to watch it, you need to know. What's going on? Listen, though, I feel like people should know that when me and Kim met, he was still watching wrestling. And so I have watched my fair share of wrestling matches. Mm -hmm. Like, yes. we used to go to his friend's house and watch the, like, pay-per-views and stuff. Um, so I definitely... Yeah, I don't think a lot of people no, really understand like. how big of a wrestling fan I oh, was yeah. for a very long time. I ate, slept, and breathed it. Like, and there is a, there's another world... Where I don't have a physical media channel, I have a let's talk wrestling channel, <laughs> and that's all I talk about. Um, but you know, it just it got, it's getting better now. But it got to a point where it was just like so super frustrating. I was just so fed up with some of the decisions, and I was just like, I don't have time for this. I quit watching. You know, things change throughout your. Life. Uh, let's see. What's up, Tiana? How Hello, are you doing Tiana. tonight, Tiana? I hope you're doing well. 
We got Deadly Spooky in the chat. What's up, Kenny and Michelle? How are you doing tonight? Man? How's it going, Deadly? We got Chandler here. Hey, Michelle and Ken, how are you doing? What's up, Chandler? Uh, name your top five favorite comedians. That's uh, comedies. Uh, comedies comedies um shoot. um white chicks uh this is 40. don't we have a video about this we do um talladega nights oh wow talladega nights yeah it was on my list wow i didn't oh, know you wow. like Tal talladega nights that much yeah it's pretty funny you ain't first you're last it is funny. I do like Shake Talladega and Nights. Shake and bake, Ricky Bobby. Shake and bake. We're, we're all jacked up on Mountain Dew. I don't even know what this means, but I like it. And they're like eating all that fast food at the table. <laughs> Deer, eight pound, <laughs> six, six ounce, ounce baby, baby Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> and then his wife's like, you know that Jesus grew up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Um, I'm trying to think what else is on my list. You got any? Go on, spit them out. I was waiting for you to be done. Because um, no, I'm not good at these lists on this spot, okay? There was a time, a 40-year-old virgin's definitely in there. Right, you um, love that movie. Uh, office Space is in there. Um, maybe Liar Liar's liar in there. Liar Liar's in there. Um it's a tough one. There's just so many different types of comedies from so many different eras that I love. And um, it's tough. The Jerk. I'm going to put The Jerk in there because I watched that recently and I, I love that. The Jerk. Movie. That's a great comedy. I don't Steve know Martin. Um, and I'll just say Super Bad. I love Super Bad. So. That one's not really funny, though. I don't know. I think it is. I think it's still funny. I think mm. it still holds up. No, we but talk, there's so many comedies. I, I, like like I, I could do a top 100 comedies. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to give Adam Sandler some love. Um, yeah, I are, mean, if I got to put an Adam Sandler in there, it would be. I mean, my favorite Adam Sandler movie is Wedding Singer, but I wouldn't classify Wedding Singer as like a full comedy. It's no, a comedy, but Billy it's Madison. more like a rom com. I would, I would probably pick Billy Madison. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll say Jack and Jill. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just trolling people everybody's leaving now i hate that movie and i think that it's actually pretty funny so uh but yeah that's a good question uh al bundy is my hero says the joker uh hey guys thanks the, for being here in the pants yeah that's me you that's know me for sure i find myself doing there doing that um, know, you want to get on me for that like when i'm sitting at my desk i like i, I do that it's like a, a comforting thing yeah like I don't like put it down in my underwear and <laughs> like this is getting inappropriate, but I just like, I don't know. It's like a self soothing thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's what um, Al Bundy was doing, but. Cal Bunga dude says, what's up? What's up? Uh, 305 H X C says, Hey y'all. What's up? Going? How are you doing? Uh, who's your favorite actor or actress growing up? Um, growing up. Probably Leonardo Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, I'd say for actor, up. probably Arnold. Um, I liked Arnold Schwarzenegger a lot when I was a kid. Between Terminator and Kindergarten Cop and some Eraser, some of his other movies. Uh, actress, I don't know, Gina Davis? I'm trying Beetle to think Juice? like growing up. I don't know if I had a favorite. League of Their Own? I'm just, I'm just. You're just naming movies now? <laughs> well, I'm naming movies that Gina Davis was in. Well, we know that she's been in movies. But... Uh, good evening, Michelle and Ken, says Scott. How's it going, Z. Scott? Uh, what happened to their live stream? Did it cut out? Well, did we cut out? I hope not. I hope not. I hope it didn't cut out. Uh, what's up, Magic, Magic Hands? Hands? Uh, but let us know if we're still here. I still didn't watch my 4K Aliens. It's good. I reviewed that one last week. I, I I had problems with it, but I wasn't trying to say it was terrible. I think some people took my review the, the wrong way. Um, Maria Alina says, I enjoyed WrestleMania. It was awesome. It was. Maria's a wrestling fan, too. Very nice. Um, it's like we feel like we have to keep ourselves in the closet. You know, like we can't come out and say we're wrestling fans. Wow. Um, because people are like, oh, wrestling, oh, that's fake. And I'm like, yeah, well, so are all the movies and television shows you watch. It's the same damn thing. It's entertainment. 
Uh, the master of all movies, Presswood DVD collectors here. What's up, Sarah? How are you doing? Oh, man, you didn't send me the thumbnail today. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Uh, Adrian James says, hello, Ken and Michelle. How are you both? What's up, Adrian? I didn't get to share it to my stories. Tiana's here. Well, do you want me to send it to you right now and you can share it? How's it going, James? What's up, James? I forgot about the Maxine trailer coming today. Can't wait to check it out. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about that soon. Yeah. What's up, Frank? How's it going? How are you doing, buddy? Uh, Maxine trailer on today's live. We got some good stuff right now. Uh, let's see. I got my new release. Re new releases early last week from my dad. Poor things. Nice. Very cool. Hope you guys had a great weekend, says Frank. We did. I want to see the Goonies face the Gremlins make it make a crazy sequel. That could be fun. Uh, I was very excited to see it in your stories, Michelle. I'm glad I can make you excited, Cody. Uh, you skipped the first part of the message. I told you what character is from Law and Order SVU Ice T characters. Ah. Uh, let's see. Last week movie is from Shudder. Uh, the most goosebumps moment in the main event was the legend Cena Taker appearance plus the Shield entrance pranked me. I thought Ambrose would be. I thought he was coming too. Um, I saw people making fun of John Cena, saying like, "Did you see his run? Like his knees? I guess he's got bad knees or something." Yeah. Uh, well, to be fair, I'm sorry, but once Cena he, like, did carry the company for like 13 years before anybody took it from him. right. Um, like when you were still watching it, like he definitely, like you remember, he was one of my favorites. I liked him Cena. and Randy Orton. John Cena. Um, and yeah, but like, and then you know his like hair now, John Cena. He kept it's like, like Ernest. Yeah, he's got he's got the the, the funny hair going on. By jokes, he's slowly turning into Ernest. Once he got out there, like make fun of his run, whatever. But once he got out there, like he seemed strong to me. Like yeah. he was just like going at it. Yeah, like flipping the tape. Like you could tell that he's he must like it. he must have like really pumped himself up. Yeah, he's still got it. Uh, I've been finding some Disney Club exclusive Blu-rays at Walmart. Nice. Very cool. <clears throat> Did y'all see um, Eclipse? The Eclipse says Marius. Yep, we talked about that a little bit earlier. We we checked it out today. Uh, what's up, Johnny? How you doing, buddy? Uh, let's see. Frank says, I don't watch wrestling now, but I remember when I was a kid seeing the ultimate warrior and Jake, the snake Roberts. Jack. Uh, no, it's Jake. Oh. You spelled it wrong. Gotcha. Um, I know Jake, the snake Roberts. Very nice. He came out with a, the Python to the ring. How's it going? Mama Blu-ray. What's up, mama? Uh, no dumb and dumber or daddy's home. Look, I like dumb and dumber a lot. It's never been my favorite Jim Carrey though. It's, uh, it's not the top. For me, like it is a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but it's a it's a funny movie. It's I, I still love pretty. It, it's but. still pretty funny. I, I love the part where <laughs> I mean, it's like a meme. It's everywhere. Um, I forget like exactly what he says, and he's like, "People's pets' heads are falling off." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so. Oh, funny. It's, a, it's a funny. Movie. Have that bird or whatever. <laughs> pretty bird. Pretty bird. Uh, Pet pets' heads are falling off. <laughs> Let's see. So, it's weird that when I'm so watching funny. YouTube videos, I always get commercials through the tour streams on my phone, but not on my smart TV. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. It's like I said many times. It's like YouTube changed some stuff, and it's like we hit monetize, and then it just like takes it from there. Yeah, like um, it, even it, when I've tried to play with the settings, it's almost like people say it happens more. So I just like try to leave it alone. It is annoying to like be live though and have an app. Oh yeah, I, I don't want that to happen at all. It's one thing that for it to happen in the video because it just well, comes it happens back. like to yours. I know I've been in it. And... It just it just comes back. Well, you can't take it unless you just don't monetize, you know, which I'm not gonna do because that just, um, I mean, yeah, you're not gonna get the money, but also if you don't monetize, like YouTube is not going to push your stream for crap. Right. So that's another thing you got to think about. Um. Um, Mari says, over? yep, I feel right. like you're a little scatterbrained over there. Downhill is a great underrated comedy with Will Ferrell and Elaine from Seinfeld. Yeah, I know that was a remake of the Force, Force Majeure, like a French movie. I will definitely go and buy this year's WrestleMania DVD when it comes out this year. It won't, Douglas. They stopped doing physical media. Oh. That was a big story. Uh, hopefully they get back into it, maybe. Okay, Triple enough of wrestling, right but movie-wise, I have a story to finish as well. As I will announce in a group that I'm called, that I'm in, called Sunday Cinema, that we will watch Blade on the 21st. Well, very cool. Nice. Blade's a great movie. 
Um, let's see. Do y'all hate the popcorn bucket craze? It's, um, no, I think it's fun. Yeah, it's it doesn't fun. mean that I'm like gonna bomb. Yeah, it's fun and it, it brings uh, it's good for the theaters because I think it's yeah. making people excited about going to the theaters to pick up the popcorn bucket, see the movie. It just makes a more fun experience, I think. Yeah, like I'm definitely not a person who's gonna buy like every single one. Um, but yeah. if it's like a movie that I'm really excited about, a movie that I love, you know, like Mario, um, I'm gonna get it. You know, but other the, than the that, slammer one, I just had to get. I mean, that's just that's just cool, you know. Ghostbusters. Um, I think it's at least fun to just see what they release, you know. Yeah, I mean, um, the, like the Dune popcorn bucket, like that got an insane amount of press. That like blew up the internet. That definitely, like, I feel like that helped the movie. I feel like it may have helped it get like five million extra at the box office. Michael something. says that Maxine trailer was amazing. Love that it's in the mid eighties. All right, okay, let's let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. We'll just start talking about. Let's say hey to Huck, Huck real quick since Ronnie. What's up, Huck? Um, you want to jump into Maxine? Yep, let's do it. There's already been a couple mentions of it, so we usually jump into box office, and you want to go right to Maxine? You're well, really you throwing know, me off today. Sorry. Um, you'll be okay. But sure, let's do it. So we got the Maxine trailer. We're um, not. We're not gonna watch the trailer. I feel like you're misleading people. Did I say that? I mean, you, we, but this is the way we always do it. Like we always just talk about the trailer on here and we don't, we don't watch it. So I just assume that people understand that. I'm not saying well, we're going to talk about the Maxine trailer. Right? Well, you, you put trailer reaction on the thumbnail, didn't you? Well, I mean, technically we are reacting to the trailer. Okay. Anyway, that so, is neither here nor there. All right. Um. So we got the trailer. And, you know, I think that uh, I'm not like, I didn't love X. I thought Pearl was better. But these are not like my type of movie anyway. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I don't consider myself like the ideal uh, demographic for this movie necessarily. Um, I kind of see it because of you basically. Yeah. Um, most, mostly, but anyway, I feel like this trailer definitely like fits in with the other, uh, movies and, um, you know, it definitely has its own like eighties vibe for sure, which, you know, I guess is still popular. Yeah. <laughs> um, the whole eighties thing. I don't know. Uh, I thought it looked pretty good. Um, there's some people in it that I didn't know was gonna be in it like you know kevin bacon the and, baconator yeah um so yeah i don't know what do you think about it um i thought it was great um you know there's been promise that it's going to um have some giallo influence and i definitely saw that a little bit in the trailer but more so than that it just kind of reminded me of like an old school like hollywood like noir thriller so and there's I feel like you've been elements. saying that a lot. I feel like those are like making a comeback or something. You keep talking about noir. It's like a coincidence. <laughs> I've been watching them, or I've been I've been watching more of those type of movies. I've been reading a book, and then I'm seeing it like creep into like modern movies and pop culture. Um, but I'm just kind of really into that style and aesthetic right now. So I, I thought know. it looked great. I I feel like this one has the potential because I didn't love X either. I thought it was good, but it was just way overhyped. And I liked Pearl a lot. I liked it more than X. I think this one has the potential to be the best of the trilogy, though, just That's from right. the way it looks. And it's in the 80s. It's in 1985. I was born in 1985. So, I don't know. I think it looks cool. Um. Yeah. I mean, I I feel like somebody mentioned what when it comes out. The poster says coming soon. Uh, it's supposed to be July the 3rd or something. Like around the 4th of July, maybe July 5th or it's around um, that time. I don't think that was it, but. That's what I heard last. That's the last news that I've heard is the beginning of July. Okay. If they changed it, they changed it. All right. But do you have anything else you want to say about it? Um, No. Okay. A lot of people in the trailer, though. There was a lot of people in the trailer. Yeah. It um it looked like it had the, uh, the woman from um The Crown. She played like Princess Diana, I think, in this like last season oh, or something. Yeah. something the blonde the becky or something yeah i don't know her name but she looked familiar and halsey to me. like a halsey. singer singer or something yeah okay 
All right, well, let's talk about the box office. Uh, the the king of the monsters, Godzilla, tearing it up, you know, and King Kong, his buddy. Ken will want um, to go see it. Still thirty one million. I didn't say we couldn't see it. We look, we went to the movies the other night, and you chose to see Immaculates. I don't even know if Godzilla was out. Was Godzilla out then? When did we see Immaculate? We. It was before Godzilla was out. We had to see something that the kids can't watch. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. But then you were all like, oh, I don't want to see Godzilla. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's going to be good. And I still want to see it. So I guess I'm going to have to go by well, myself. It's it's going to be on HBO Max in like a month. So, I mean, <laughs> that's usually how fast they get to streaming. Is it though? Um, 31 million, though. Good good second weekend hold for Godzilla X Kong. I mean, this weekend at the box office doesn't look too great, though, to be honest. Monkey Man. New movie coming out with uh, that we talked about on the what's coming in April. Mm -hmm. um, 10 million. I feel like that's good for that movie. I feel like some people were saying that they were disappointed in that. Like, how much did that movie cost to make? Because I feel like right. 10 million opening weekend for a movie called Monkey Man. Um, maybe they're hoping for more because Jordan Peele's on the poster, but I don't know. I feel like that's a, a decent haul for that movie. And then Ghostbusters was in third. Um, with nine million, and I think this is the third weekend of Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, week three. So, not not a strong hold. I, I'm hoping that that movie makes its money back at least, uh, so we can get another one. But um, yeah, I don't know. It feels like it dropped really hard, and I don't think that Godzilla did it any favors for sure. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of other. I pulled up the regular box office because they don't always show that, but Kung Fu. Or no, the first Omen, which I was surprised to see didn't at least make it in the top three, was uh, eight point four million or eight point three million. I I I would have thought that that movie would have been like a like would have overtaken Monkey Man at least and made like twenty million or something. Like I don't know, like the Nun movies and the Conjuring movies and all that stuff. Right. They always make like twenty thirty million. Like why? And and that's that's a name like that has name value. The Omen series. But I don't know. I guess people were just confused. Didn't know what it was. Maybe the Omen's just not not as popular as I thought it was. But I thought that that was going to get way more than that. And especially because it had good buzz as well. Like it had an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. So it just seems like it would have done better. Sorry, I was really distracted. These are like, you know, natural or whatever. Yeah. And there's like literal strawberry seeds in it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you always get the best <laughs> stuff. Um, that was a meeting to sucker again because my throat hurts. So I apologize if, it's if you're just now joining us. Michelle's throat hurts. Um, I'm a little like, so there you go. I don't know if it's allergies or what, but anyway. Um, but yeah, the first element was number four, 8.3 million, and then Kung Fu Panda four, still in the top five, 7.7 .7 million, and then Dune Part Two. Um, right behind it, 7.4 million. So very nice. Um, Dune is. Probably going to end up doing very well. I'm not exactly sure where it's at right now, but it is uh, trucking along. All right, let's go back and talk about the Joker. Falia do. The trailer arrives on April the 9th. Tomorrow. Oh, that is tomorrow. I didn't realize how that. I can't <laughs> believe we're already in April. Like, that's just crazy to me. Uh, yeah. But yeah, tomorrow is. I was, I was thinking that was like two weeks away, like we were still in March or something. But uh, April the 9th. Is is Joker folly a do? Yeah, um, I'm I'm not excited about this. I know you are, but I'm not. Well, maybe, maybe I'll do a trailer reaction with just me. I don't know Michelle. Sometimes she's like, "You can't do stuff by yourself." I gotta be there. So maybe I'll drag you down. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like if I'm gonna do a trailer reaction, it's not gonna be for a Joker. I mean, I like the first one quite a bit. Um, we watched it. Like, you you like the first one. Yeah, but... You're just not excited for the sequel? No, I'm just not excited. Like, Lady Gaga and him just, like, singing a million this is, songs. This is just um, like A Star is Born if Bradley Cooper was wearing face paint. So, it should be no. pretty good. Um, but we got more Joker news. Uh, Joker Folly Adu earns... Our rating for some strong violence and brief full nudity. Mm. So who do you think it is that gets nude? Might be both of them. Because I don't think it's Lady Gaga. 
Even though I think she got a little nude in A Star is Born, maybe. But not like full nude. I feel like if anybody's getting full nude, it's probably Joaquin Phoenix. Mm. I feel like we're going to see full nude Joker in this movie. I don't know. But, all right, does that excite you at all? To see full <laughs> no. nude Joker? Okay. Anyway, it's rated R. I think everybody assumed it was going to be rated R. I mean, right. it's Joker 2, and the first one was rated R. So it makes sense. Um, we got some Marvel news to talk about. Sam Raimi says Marvel hasn't asked him to direct Avengers Secret Wars, but he'd like to. Okay. <laughs> so Sam Raimi, you know, uh, directed Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, the three Spider-Man films with Tobey Maguire, Doctor Strange. So he's well-versed in the superhero universe. I don't know if he would be good for like an overall Avengers because Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness was very weird because of him and i don't know if that would fit for an overall superhero story with all the superheroes in it but maybe i mean he is sam raimi he's a legend so i don't know you're saying that we liked that movie though i did i'm just saying it was a a quirky like evil dead style superhero movie with doctor strange going back as like zombie strange and i just don't know if that I works love that. for like, like my favorite part <laughs> i don't know if that works for like an overall unless you're going to make it super weird too i'm not saying he can't pull it off i just i don't know if he'd be the best choice uh, i mean are it. we still making avenger movies like <laughs> people are still i i don't know <laughs> I don't even know what like. Super I'm just waiting for the story where they're like, we're rebooting the entire series. Oh God! Um, and we're bringing back Tony Stark, uh, played <laughs> by another actor. But get t speaking of Tony Stark, we got Robert Downey Jr. saying oh, he would happily <laughs> return as Tony Stark in the MCU. So what I'm thinking is, just burn it all to the ground and restart the MCU with Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark again. And then you can recast everyone else around him, but keep Tony Stark because he was Iron the, Man. He was the original like, because he is the heart of those movies. And I think he could do it again. I think he, well, he was the first one, right? The movie, the Iron Man. Was it the first one of the, the whole... first portrayal? Yeah, yeah, it was the first movie okay. of the MCU. Yeah. I thought that's why you're saying it. But he was also, I, I think, somebody could correct me in the chat, but I think Robert Downey Jr. was the first live action. Um, of that character, of the character of Iron Man, because Iron Man wasn't a super popular character before Robert Downey Jr. It's not like Batman, where there's been like 85 people that's played Batman or Superman. Right. Like, I think Robert Downey Jr. only has played uh, um, Iron Man, just like Hugh Jackman, I think, is the only one that's played Wolverine, maybe. So, yeah. It's interesting. All right. But, uh, like, there's more more like that than you think like has anybody else ever played thor or i don't know i think there was a avengers <clears> movie <throat> back in like the 80s or something or a thor movie or something i don't know i know somebody played captain america before because there's a 1990 captain america that sucks um gotcha and somebody's yeah. definitely played the hulk before there's been multiple interpretations of the hulk Batman, Spider-Man, Superman. Yeah. I mean, Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, Flash. Wonder Woman. Somebody's played her before. It's Flash. There's been a few people that's played the Flash. Right. So there's multiple interpretations of a lot of... I'm just saying for as big as Iron Man became, right. like he became like one of the most popular superheroes. Yeah. He's the only one to ever play him. Like on that level. Like nobody's right. ever... I mean, nobody else has played him. I, I don't think. Okay. And if they had, they were nobodies. Um, do you want to get back into the chat or you want to keep going? We can. Let, let's talk about one more thing real quick. Let's talk about the Bambi trailer. Because I know right next to Maxine, <coughs> Bambi mm -hmm. is at the top of people's top priority list oh, yeah. for movies to see. Um, Bambi the Reckoning. Did you right. watch this teaser trailer? No. So basically what this was, you had, you had two hunters in the woods and one of them just holding a gun. And it looks, they're hunting for deer. And he's like, have you ever shot one of these before? And he goes, once. A long time ago. I don't think he says a long time ago. But <clears> he's <throat> like, I've shot one once. And then they're all just looking around. And then it cuts. And it says, Bambi the Reckoning. And that's all it is. So like saying that he's the one that killed his mom? Basically. Oh, my that's gosh. What so Bambi's coming back to get revenge. I think this, uh, more so than Winnie the Pooh, 
I think the story of Bambi does lend itself to a horror movie. Because, yeah, Bambi would be wanting to get revenge for his mom against the hunters. <laughs> so I think this one kind of lends itself to a, you know, a cool setup that could work. Um, yeah, but I mean, I feel like Winnie the Pooh worked too because you know they were abandoned by Christopher Robin. Yeah, true. You know, he got they he like had to grow up, and they were just left in the woods. And they just never capitalized on it. It was like, oh, we ate Eeyore, and now we're feral creatures. But they were just dudes that were wearing masks. They just never like fully leaned into that. I don't feel like. Well, it was a low budget movie. What do you want them to do? I don't know. Hopefully, the second <laughs> I've heard the second one's better. But all right, let's let's take this down and get back into the chat. Do you can, want to do the reading? Can you can you do it? Do you? I was I didn't know if you wanted to do it or not. Um, I, it's fun. You took it from me last. Um, time. Are you guys going to do your reaction for the Joker two trailer tomorrow? Well, I think we answered that question. I <laughs> uh, love your videos, full of goodies, Huck. Sarah loves your videos, Huck. If you're still here. It's been 10 years since Ultimate Warrior passed away, but I love watching his matches. Such a cool wrestler. Yeah, it has. He did um, gave a speech in the ring, and then he died in the airport. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy. Who was it? The Ultimate Warrior. He went to the Hall of Fame, gave a speech on Raw about going to the Hall of Fame the next night, and then uh, I think on his way home in the airport, he croaked. He had a heart attack or something? Something. I can't remember exactly what it was. But... How old was he? Uh, I want to say this is 2014. He was popular in the 80s, so I want to say he was late 50s, maybe. Jeez. Yeah. Um. Hey, Ken. Do you think we'll get a Rocky 4K six film still book set in USA? Uh, that's the rumor on the street, but I, there's no confirmation yet. Are you going to watch Abigail? Yeah, we might if we uh, get I a babysitter to. and the mood yeah. is right. Um. Yeah, I definitely want to. The vibes are right because. Sometimes those um, like horror movie, horror movie theater experiences, like it, it depends on how my anxiety is doing. <laughs> like I was, I was doing really well. Um, and then we went and saw Immaculate. And then like at the end, um, I started to get like a little, little squeamish, squeamish, uh, squirmy. Squeamish. And just like, not because of, I don't know. Like, it's not like I'm like scared or like grossed out. It's just like the intense scenes. And then it's just like, I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, um, it doesn't always work. But I think, I think that Abigail, because <clears throat> it's directed by the people that directed Scream and Ready or Not, it's probably going to have more of a fun tone to it. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be like, it's probably going to be dark and twisted, but it's going to be dark and twisted, like in a fun way. Gotcha. You know, fun, dark and twisted. Whereas Immaculate wasn't. Um, I'm seeing Civil War this Friday in Dolby Theater. Nice. Yeah, like Immaculate was serious, you know. Yeah. There's no yeah, like that's humor. What I, that's what I mean. Um, let's see. Marius has 225 buckets. I'm like more into buckets now than 4Ks. <laughs> wow. It happens. That is crazy, Marius. Where do you put them all? Uh, Maxine looks like the best one, in my opinion. Reminded me of American Horror Story in 1984. Watch that season. The thing about that show is, like, we always watched like the first three episodes of every yeah. season. I feel like, and then I was just like, all right, I'm good. <laughs> I, I feel like they just got like progressively worse. I remember it always being that way, though. Like, besides the first season, I think it was the only one that I finished. We no, tried to we watch the, uh, the hotel one. With we Lady did. Gaga, yeah. Yeah, that, that was a decent one. But all the other ones, like, I couldn't get into. I think you watch Freak Show on your own. I watched the circus one. Is that what that was? Yeah, Freak Show. Um, but, like, Asylum and... There's one about, like, aliens. Evan Peters is in it, and... I don't know. I just remember the cult one, and Evan Peters is, like, spreading Doritos all over his face or something because he's trying to be, like, Donald oh, Trump. Oh, the Trump. Like, yeah, they definitely. super, like, political in political, the first yeah. five minutes. And oh, I was yeah. just, like. They usually I think are. we watched maybe a couple episodes of that. Then there was the other one. It was, like, Armageddon or something. I don't know. It was, like, the end of the world, the apocalypse. I think it was apocalypse. Um, You guys used to do trailer reactions. Yeah, we did. We did. It was just. Um, but I also worked less back then. <laughs> Those were just annoying because yeah. they'll hit you with strikes on like every single one. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> I don't know how other YouTubers And you kind of have but... to do them, like, right away, or they just don't get any views. And, like, you know, like, yeah, we're not, like... very, like, in the moment. Like, obviously, we do this for fun, but you also don't want to be, like, spending all this time on this stuff, like, taking away from your family and not getting anything else out of it. Like, yeah. I don't know how to, how to say that in a, like... Um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, you you want to get the views like you do. Um, so anyway, they're a little like time time sensitive. Yeah. I mean, you have an issue with everything. Shaking my head. What do we have an issue with? Yeah. Elaborate, Bri Bryden. That was the eight twenty nine. Well, if you're talking about me having a problem with something, <laughs> or having an opinion on something. That's literally the reason we're on here is to have an opinion and to give our thoughts. So I could just come on here and say, I love everything or I hate everything, but I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking because that's the point right. of us being here. Uh, Ken does like to complain though. I'm not going to lie. I do. I've uh, never seen Pearl, never seen X and don't plan on it. Hey, that's all right. I haven't seen Maxine trailer yet. I hope the movie is good. Ty West is a masterclass in cinema like Jordan Peele with character storytelling. Yeah, I just, I, I didn't love the innkeepers that much. It's a little boring. You did that one. The music in the Maxine trailer is self controlled by Laura uh, Brandingen. Yeah. I want to see the first omen. I've heard good things. I want to see it. Ty West too. is better than Jordan Peele. Not from what I've seen, but I haven't seen all of his movies. I can't get into Peele stuff. Make sure you read my other comments. Y'all went off and restarted the live stream. Uh -oh. Yeah, people were saying that. And the weird thing is, is I feel like I noticed that on my phone because I'm, I'm playing it. And I feel like at one point it went all the way back to the beginning. So I don't know. <laughs> YouTube could be doing wonky things tonight. I have no idea why. Uh, Monkey Man and the First Omen are really disappointing opening numbers going on Wednesday. The first Monkey Man uh, Omen. First monkey man omen. Yeah. I that love that Joker poster. It's a good poster. Uh, yeah. Why do you think I've been asking you, Can, and if you guys are going to do a reaction to the trailer? Yeah. Um, letting everyone know that Dune 2 has extended IMAX 70 millimeter. Is that what it's called? Millimeter? Mm -hmm. um, showing to April 29th due to popular demand. You should totes do vlogs, by the way. We used to. Like movie vlogs? We used to. Um, he's going to have a Joker painted on his with a smiley face. I could see that. Let's put a smile on that wiener. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I feel like Disney didn't market the first Omen too well, but I thought it was better than Monkey Man. Yeah, um, they didn't because I thought the trailer looked horrible. And I'm, again, hearing the movie is good. Um, the first Omen is Disney. Yep. <laughs> Fox, it's wow. Fox. It's wild. Fox search like that. Uh, Michelle and Sam Raimi directing Avengers 5. Okay, why is this news me? I agree. I don't give a F about Marvel. Yeah. Uh, top five Harrison Ford movies. Ooh, I cannot answer that one. Uh, well, it's I could just cheat and say, well, three of them Star Wars. <laughs> um, and I would be telling the truth. So I'll do that. And then uh, Air Force One, for sure. And then Witness. I'll throw Witness in there. Not Indiana Jones? Wow. Well, look, I'll take Star Wars. Let, let's just put Empire in there uh, for Harrison. We'll put uh, Temple of Doom, uh, Witness, Air Force <laughs> One, and um, The Fugitive. Okay. There is a version of Thor in the Lou Fer Ferrigno uh, Hulk TV movies. Oh, okay. Hulk would know. Hulk would know. Uh, oh, Justin yeah. for uh, Justice for Bambi. Justice for Bambi. I uh, get well soon, Michelle. Thank you. I don't. I don't think I'm like sick. Sick. Just you know. Nope. Don't care about the movie trailer for the Pooverse. The Pooniverse. Whatever. Why is it called Pooniverse? No. Oh. Sounds dirty. Um. Let's see. Monkey Man was a cross between John Wick and Everything Everywhere All at Once type of movie. Good story, but not one that I would rewatch. But a good one. Good one watch, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. I felt the same way about everything everywhere all at once. Good okay. one time watch. 
Uh, Tom says, hey, Ken, long-time listener, first-time caller. How is the VS you, ex existence 4K transfer worth picking up? It's it's top-notch. It looks fantastic. I wasn't the biggest fan of mm -hmm. the movie itself, but if you're a fan of it, the transfer is great, so don't worry about that. Very cool. Uh, Scott says, I've been hearing great things about the Abigail movie. Looking forward to that one. Nice. Have a great uh, Monday night media, folks. Don't forget to give this uh, stream a thumbs up. That's right. Listen to Douglas. I'm at 25. Sorry, I stack them on my table in the bottom. I have way too many movies and going mad. American Horror Story Cult would not be recommended as a rewatch this election year. LOL might trigger too many people. Sure. LOL, yeah. Ken, are you going to buy King Kong 1976? 4K. You know what? I thought about it and um, no, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe if they keep it in stock, I'm just not getting it this week. I mean, I've got the movie on Blu-ray and I haven't watched it. Uh, will you watch the movie in theaters? Um, King Kong or? Yeah, I don't know. Which, which are they bringing it back to? or what? Not that I've heard. We got I Megan, Mike, movie man. Movies. How's everyone doing? What's up, Mikey? Let's see. I'm just guessing that's going to happen. I'm not saying it is going to happen. Yeah, I mean, it's a good guess, honestly. Uh, King, good choice on Harrison Ford movies. Totally agree. Yeah. I would throw in Frantic. God, the movie needs a 4K from Arrow. I haven't seen one. There's a good portion of Harrison Ford I haven't seen, so I got to jump into it. But All right. What else do we got? Um, Let's take this out. Okay. Let's... Um, We can talk about this eclipse story. Google searches for the for ice hurt spike during solar eclipse. Right. Did you Google that? No. Okay. My eyes don't hurt. Yeah, I know we were all kind of out there freaking out a little bit. Not serious. Oh my god, I'm gonna go blind. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that that was that was I a fun our, story. I think um, our daughter, she was like a little freaked out. Yeah. She was like, Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to see. She was like scared to even go outside. I'm like, no, it's you just can't look up at it. Like, yeah. <laughs> so don't look up, just like the movie. <clears throat> All right. Because again, we didn't have the special glasses that you're supposed yeah. to wear. So we got Julia Garner cast as Silver Surfer. Yeah. And the last person to play Silver Surfer was Lawrence Fishburne. So this is a very different uh, <laughs> casting choice. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if there's precedent in the comics if there was a female silver surfer if they're gonna have a male silver surfer too like or if they're just gender swapping but okay i mean she's a good actress i'm not saying she can't pull it off but my only issue is the silver surfer is just in the metal costume and doesn't really emote from what i know of so i don't feel like it's gonna make good use of her acting talents i feel like they still have a personality not Lawrence Fishburne in the Rise of the Silver Surfer. He'd just come down and be like, ooh, 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 ooh. well, maybe that was just because he's. Maybe that's a different interpretation. <laughs> Could be a um, different interpretation. Yeah, I mean, I don't know much about Silver Surfer, but I like, I'm not really seeing it at this point, like seeing her playing it. Um, but we'll see. I mean, yep. you know. Could be fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we got uh, another Legally Blonde film. Or no, spinoff series mm -hmm. in the works. I didn't read. I can read now. Okay. Where, are you excited for this? Uh, not particularly. Okay. Um, I don't know what a spinoff series means. A show. Okay. <laughs> it means a show. Um, not another movie, which I feel like was what was in talks originally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this movie, this movie, this series, um, is going to be produced and, um, well, Reese Witherspoon is going to produce it as well as act in it. Okay. Um, so I don't know anything else about it other than that, but. Yeah. I feel like they were supposed to make a Legally Blonde 3 like 10 years ago and then it never happened. Yeah. I mean, I thought that I had heard like last year or something that the movie was coming. But yeah. then nothing. So maybe they decided to do a TV show instead. I don't think that's going to go very well. But <laughs> I mean, it depends on which streaming service. They put There's on, just so many shows. It's like, oh, 
Jeez. Yeah, so many shows. Uh, we got uh, some images. The for bride. The bride. Is this like the bride of Frankenstein? Uh yeah. Um, it's it? it's gonna be like the the you know the take on. I'll be honest. I didn't know anything about this. The bride um, of Frankenstein. You got uh, Christian Bell as Frankenstein there, and Jesse Buckley as the bride. And um, this is going to be produced by or directed by Maggie Gyllenhaal. Um, and yeah, I don't know. That's all. That's all we got so far. But I'm a little interested. I mean, Christian Bell looks like a pretty cool Frankenstein. A lot of people were saying he looks like the Joker, and they're like, "Oh, the Batman's turned into the Joker now." Um, I think that people are just getting those vibes from the dark images yeah. or something because people said that about well, the, I see the stitches in his head. Yeah, I mean, he the, looks like Frankenstein. The stitches look cool. Um, like his face structure looks Frankenstein-y, you know, yeah. like the long, the elongated forehead and cheekbone and stuff. Um, you know, and this is just like a a first look, a teaser kind of thing. So they're not like giving away everything. You know, she's got yeah. some like black, like splatter on her face. So it's, it's definitely like just, you know. Yeah. I wonder what this is going to be. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in this than I am like Joker two or something. Like, is it going to be a retelling of Bride of Frankenstein? Right. Or because the original Bride of Frankenstein, the bride is not in the movie, but like five minutes gotcha. at the end. So I imagine they're going to tell a different story, maybe pick up where that left off or yeah, where it know. starts or I don't know. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the images do look cool. We also got uh, the pool man. The pool man. It says Chris Pine in it. Is that Danny DeVito back yep. there? Yep. What, what is this movie about? What's this supposed to be on? Um, I started to watch the trailer for it and it just like does not look good. <laughs> um, but I, I think he's just some kind of pool man. Kind of uh I don't know, bum kind of guy. And he is working a pool somewhere. And like I said, I didn't watch the full trailer because it just did not grab me in at all. Um Gotcha. But you know, I don't know. There you go. If you're in if you like Chris Pond. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> I'll, I'll skip over this one because we already pretty much talked about it earlier. Yeah. But uh, we got, and that was Cody Rhodes winning uh, WrestleMania 40. Yeah. Uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, new poster. Got two new posters. Um, and you very lovingly told me before we went live that I look like the ape. I'm going to look like the ape that needs With a toupee, a toupee. <laughs> um, in the future. That, that um, and I, I mean, he looks fun. like an orangutan, right? Is he an orangutan? I yeah. think he is. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, I am super excited for this one. It looks good. Did you not get the other poster? No, uh, I didn't. It had like uh, I thought I did. I don't, know if it's Caesar. I don't even know. I thought I got it, but I don't guess I did. Yeah, there were two new ones. Um, it was the the bad monkey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm 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 super excited to see this movie. Um. I'm hoping you don't like back out on me and say we can't go see it like you did Godzilla. When were we going to go see Godzilla? When was there an opportunity for us to go see Godzilla? And I said, no, we're not going. Any night. That never happened. You. Our son went to go see it without us. And then I didn't. You all never said anything about wanting to go. No, I. If wanted... you all wanted to go see it, I would have. We would have went. I wanted to go. No. Oh. And you kept saying that you didn't really care to see it. So obviously I'm not going to bring we it up. We only do what you want to do anyway. So just tell me you want to go and we'll go. That's annoying. <laughs> um, there you go. There's Planet of the Apes for you. <laughs> but yes, we'll go see Planet of the Apes. No, okay. I'll go by myself. I don't want to well, go. Well, go by you. yourself. Go see Godzilla. You can go tomorrow night if you want. Uh, Furiosa. I could not go to the movie by myself. I'd be <laughs> terrified. <laughs> well, you can go during the day because you work. Uh, but we got Furiosa. Because you have a job. Uh, Mad Max Saga. You yeah, excited for this one? No. It does look a little ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. The poster doesn't look great. 
it just doesn't look as raw and I'm not saying the, that Fury Road looked real, but it just looked more grounded. This looks like a cartoon. <clears throat> for me, this for is posters. just like a watch at home movie. I didn't like the first one though, and you did, didn't you? I didn't love it the first time I watched it. I, I liked it a lot more the second time. Also, isn't she supposed to be the younger version of what's her face? Charlie Storm. Did she not have an arm in that? I'm confused. Because she has a robotic arm on in this. No, she so. didn't. She had a robotic arm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. This comes out pretty soon, May the 24th. Um, I mean, I mean, I, I, I probably won't see it in the theaters either. Even though, like, Fury Road looks amazing. I just don't, from the trailer, just it looked like a cartoon. It looked like everything was CGI. So I, unless I hear something like truly great about it, I'm not going to feel the need to see this in the theaters. Gotcha. Um, I can wait until it comes out. But that is, if I can bring us back, the news. That's the news. That is the news. If anybody has anything else they want to bring up, feel free to do so. But if not, we'll probably, probably cut it. Call it night. Yeah. We're about at the hour mark, which would be a little bit early for us, but uh Yeah, it's good. Our it kids quick. our kids go back to school tomorrow. They've been on spring break, so you yeah. know, gotta get them back into a routine. They've been staying up late and sleeping in late. It gets hard to um, stay up later in the pro because of that. Oh, poor Ken. That happens. Ken's the only one that is inconvenient. <laughs> hey, Ken, do you think we'll get still books for Jaws 3 and Jaws Revenge? Oh, I hope so. They better not uh, not do that just because they're not Best Buy exclusive. Walmart better have them. Uh, I try watching Doom because I love Dennis Villa. I don't know how to say his Denis name. Denis Villeneuve. But I couldn't get into it. Found it boring. Hey, I'm with you. We did too the first time. I was much more the into it time, the second time. It was still boring. Like, But not, but I liked not it when we were watching it the first like hour and a half, like I was really into it. And then we like took a break and came back and it was like the second half after they attack the place where they're at just <laughs> isn't as good. Uh, we see Planet of the Apes in theaters. Well, I think we just <laughs> talked about that. Uh, can you show apes bucket? Uh, I just posted. Um, do you mean on Instagram or what? Maybe the astronauts come back at the end of this Planet of the Apes. I think like if they're playing in another trilogy, like if this is gonna be a start to a new trilogy, I think that's what they should do at the end of the at the end of it all. Daddy issues? No, I don't think I have daddy issues. Ken does. You? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Uh why don't you make watching and reviewing movies your job? Well, we just ain't there yet. There, there ain't enough of y'all in here to make it our job. <laughs> I can tell y'all that right long, now. A long way I'm very, I'm always very thankful for the people that do show up, but I don't. It requires a lot to make a living. Yeah, more especially views and stuff now to, in this to make a living this day and age. Yeah, and plus it's just <clears throat> it's too inconsistent and too unreliable. Yeah. Uh, greetings, you two lovebirds and flick friends. How's it going, Steve? We're just about to head out, but thank you for popping in and saying hello. Thank you, Steve. Um, yeah, like Ken said, we we definitely do this for fun um, because you know we've said this before. We're we're gonna be talking about movies and shows even if we're not on YouTube doing it. Like yeah. movies and TV has always been a part of our relationship. Um, we just love you know watching that stuff. Um, so this is definitely like something fun that we do. Um, but at the same time, like, like I mentioned, we do have kids, um, we have yeah. jobs. And so it is nice to kind of get, well, you know, this is like a, I guess an outlet, but it's also nice to get, you know, a little bit of pay, um, yeah. from YouTube, uh, for doing it. Um, because I mean, gosh, when you, when you have all that stuff going on, it's hard to like take the time to want to put stuff out. Like, yeah. you know, every, basically when you're choosing to do something, you're choosing to give up something else. Like, you know, do we film a video or do we watch a movie together? Do we film a video or do we go play a board game with our kids? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's just always give and take. And so, well, and I, I don't think a lot of people 
understand the time that goes into it because it's just a 10 minute video or a 15 minute video. Right. But there's so many hours that go into that one video. Um, yeah, definitely so. like not trying to <laughs> go on a soapbox. And I, I'm, look, I'm super appreciative for all the support I've got on my channel. Right. And the fact that we've got all the support on our channel, I think that's awesome. I mean, um, and to be honest, if I didn't get the support I got on my channel, I probably still wouldn't be doing it. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's a lot of time, like she said, spending away from the kids and yeah, and all that kind of stuff. Not that I'm trying to neglect my kids or anything, but I do most of the stuff in the day when they're at school. But it's just I could be doing other things. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, it, you know, it always blows my mind that anybody watches us, honestly. <laughs> so um, there you have it getting all there you have it getting all sentimental or something tonight pull, but, pulling the curtain back just um, a little bit not that we don't do that but yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your week uh we should have um at least one video coming this week we're still really wanting to do um a taste test video or i yeah. do um because one of our uh friends you know slash subscribers whatever uh sent us a package full of all kinds of stuff and um he wanted us to do a taste test so i feel like we we owe that to him yeah of course and you know maybe i will do that joker reaction tomorrow okay it's possible possible that happens but thank you all for joining hit the like button if you haven't already it's very important do it i would appreciate it also comment on the stream when it goes off or if you're watching on the replay I would also appreciate that for the engagements and uh, we will see you guys later. Bye guys.